Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And it's Tuesday. I wanna talk a little bit about some market talk. Um, you know, just have a market talk, basically kind of take in what we had yesterday in terms of content um, and um, kind of look at some stuff with the market and what could be coming up this week, actually in pertaining to foot swap deals. Uh, now we do have a few days left of this, um, but so many people that have been gunning after this base icon SBC, they're going to get what they've been going for um, for this past month. They've been trying to get this base icon pack. I think there are 12 foot swap items that have been released. A 13th is in weekly objectives. So we have one more foot swap item to go and then people will be redeeming this base icon pack. So I wanna talk a little bit about what's gonna happen when they redeem that base icon pack um, because obviously you're not just getting the base icon to play with the base icon. You're getting that pack to open it up, uh, see what you get and possibly put that player into an SBC. So. That makes me want to look at the high rated goals. Now, before I do that, I want to look at the SBC that we got today, the Team of the Tournament Challenge. Uh, we've been getting one of these SBCs every day, and this one honestly does not make any sense. I mean, it, the pack gives you an 81 plus rated UCL rare player, and it requires an 82 overall squad. So that, li that just literally does not make a lot of sense, um, but it is some UCL supply. So some of those cards went down today and a lot of people invested in those. Um, I have not done a ton of that investing myself just because if we go on Flippin and look at the UCL market, um, this pack that they put out today, this this pack doesn't really um, make the market drop like the, the three player pack does. So, I mean, if you look at the market right here, yes, it did take a dip, went from 37 to 31, and it's now back up to 32.7. You do have some cards that are pretty cheap, um, but a lot of people invested in this today, and you guys might have done this as well, um, because of the UCL premium SBCs that they have been releasing. Some people think that they're gonna put that out again today. Um, we'll see if they do or not. I think it's a good possibility, especially with all of the new all the new cards and packs um, just because that's going to get people to do these SBCs a little bit more. So some of these cards are up in value. I mean, you have Rugani here, 83 rated, 4,500 coins. Um, some people think that, I mean, you know, if you do invest in these cards now, they're not going to really go anywhere. You're, it's not a very high risk investment because these cards are still very rare from the last time that they were required. And if that SBC does come out again, more and more people are going to want to go do it. Um, and you're gonna see these cards are gonna fly. So I think it is a decent idea to go through and pick some of these up. The best way to find out which ones are the cheapest is to go uh, players by rating and go to version UCL rare, apply filters, scroll down, check out the 83s and the 84s. I mean, 6,000 coins for an 84 is not that bad considering that some of these, um, like let's look at Pizzy, 8,000 coins for Pizzy. What did he go to? when the SBC was out earlier, 14,000 coins, 8,000 is his low. Yeah, so I'm gonna go take a look at Pizzy right now and check him out and his price uh, because if he is actually 8,000 coins, we're gonna have to look at buying a couple of these, um, 7,900 coins. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. You know what, we're just gonna actually, you know, we're just gonna do a club stock, so we'll just buy one. Um, I'm not gonna go crazy on this, basically just buying one and sending it to the club is the best way to do this. Um, because th these SBCs are not guaranteed. So while we look at some of the other cards along here, Kramrich at six and a half K, we'll go check him out as well. Um, but basically this is something you guys probably did yesterday. If you if you did this already, uh, GG's, because um, this is something that probably should have been done a little bit earlier than I'm doing it now, because a lot of those packs have been opened. A lot of the supply is already gone and a lot of the supply has already been bought up but there's still some deals out there you can check on the bids um, and if it is before 1 p.m when you watch this video or before 6 p.m uk that is an option uh, to possibly pick up some deals stock your club with a few of these cards anything from like 82 to 84 85 rated because those cards literally went extinct last time uh, that that sbc the ucl premium sbc came out so um, that is a decent way to invest but i want to get back to the foot swap and the the uh, the foot swap and the base icon. So here in the next couple of days, people are going to be able to redeem their base icon 
they're going to be able to complete their foot swap for the month of April. I think I'm going to guess here at the end of the week or so, we should be seeing people get their base icon packs. Um, and that's going to be a time where people are going to have a decision. They're going to have their base icon pack. Either they're going to open it, they're going to get a Hullet R9, one of the top tier cards. They're going to actually use it and try it in their team or they're going to pull one of the low tier cards and who knows what this base icon pack is going to be like. Maybe since it was in foot swap, it'll have a, a better um, success rate and the, it'll give out more of the higher rated icons. Um, and maybe it'll be absolutely terrible and it'll just, EA will make this pack even less, um, it will give out less than the base icon SBC that we had before. I don't know, that's just theoretically thinking, but that is a possibility. So. When you get a base icon pack, what are people going to do with this? Well, they're going to definitely go into the icon section and do an icon SBC if it's somebody that they don't want to use in their team or at least try out. A lot of those cards are going to make their way into an icon SBC. Well, what else do you need for icon SBCs? You need informs, you need high rated cards. I talked about high rated gold cards earlier yesterday in terms of player of the year investing. Um, and some of them are still pretty low. Not really some of the player of the year investments. You see Ederson's there at 20K. He's risen back up. Same thing with Otamendi. A guy like Ozil, a guy like Verratti, Perisic, Matic, a lot of these guys, you know, at 18,000 coins, you can probably get them on bid or a snipe. That's still pretty good. 86 rated look good to me. 85 rated still look pretty good to me. Under 10,000 coins for some of the really good cards that link as well. Fakir at 9K, that's really good. Um, some of these are still pretty high for me, the 88s and the 89s, 88s through 89s, these are still pretty expensive, but people are going to pay the price um, because if they get the foot swap, if they get that the base icon pack, they're going to go redeem and get that base icon player and then they're going to start working towards an icon SBC. Now a lot of people have been doing icon SBCs already. Um, that's why you see the high rated golds have maintained a very high price, but this could give them an extra push this weekend um, as people go and complete these SBCs. This promo, a lot of people are saying that it's very boring and there's just not a lot of content coming out with it based on just what they've been doing. Uh, and I understand kind of why they're saying that because obviously nobody is interested in these cards. If you look at some of their prices, I mean, this Leroy Sané down at 300,000 coins flat basically. Uh, that's an insane price for him. This is the second best version of Hyunmin Sun in the game. His headliner is a million coins, and this one is 550k. That's crazy. Um, and just a lot of these cards are just so very cheap, and it's just very obvious that nobody is interested in using them or trying them out uh, in the game. So a lot of people are saying this promo is pretty dead. We haven't gotten very many SBCs yet. We've only got one Team of the Knockout Stage Player SBC Delict. Now I do expect that we would get another one today. I said that about yesterday and it didn't happen. Um, but we have to get three more of these SBCs. So maybe they're gonna stack them towards the end of the week. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna go on with that. Uh, but tomorrow we could see, or today, excuse me, we could see some good content in terms of another player SBC and or the UCL Premium Upgrade SBC. So I really, you know, I'm not one that who likes to invest in high rateds a lot, but the 85s, the 86s, to me, I think look like pretty good looks, um, especially for the next week down the road with the player of the year stuff. Um, I'll link that video at the end of this video if you wanna check out some of my investments that I, I looked at um, for player of the year and young player of the year. And that's gonna be a big thing in FIFA Ultimate Team coming up this week, just because of the fact that those SBCs um, over the years have just been a huge, huge hit in the FIFA community. Now, there's still some decent investments for that if you're looking at high rated golds or informs, um, but a lot of people still have the Sterling informs, the Van Dyke informs, you know, stuff like that. And if you're one of those guys, I would con continue to think about looking to sell as you head into the weekend. Um, especially on some of these special cards, whether you have this version of Sterling. Like, look right here. Somebody definitely has a ton of this Sterling card in there. They have a mass listed. Look how many cards are listed up here at the 30th minute, all around 170,000 coins. That's just somebody who has invested in a ton of them and is trying to, you know, list them up, try to get some lazy buyers um, for there. Like, look at all these cards that are just listed up. It's crazy. There are so many people listing uh, for lazy buyers that have this investment. So if you're one of those people, I would definitely try to get out early, try to get out uh, early, early this weekend 
maybe in the middle of this weekend before the award ceremony is out and is announced because that's uh you're, there's a lot the most of the hype will be built up by that time period so again people are going to be redeeming their foot swap people are going to be doing sbcs this week because there's really nothing else to do on the game and when there's nothing else to do on the game we've seen it before people go and they do sbcs uh people might even go and do this sadio mane sbc even though he has a, a group stage card uh, but again people are probably if they make a good sbc in the next couple days with one of these team in the knockout stage cards if they make it cheap you're definitely going to see some people go and do that sbc one other thing to take note of with when they put out these sbcs is the packs that they give in return you get a plot prime gold players pack a mega pack and a jumbo premium gold pack for delict watch and see what they put out like let's say they put out another player today and you see a 50k pack or a rare mega pa a rare mega pack or just very high value packs in return um, for even maybe like a hundred thousand coin SBC. Actually, I don't even know why I didn't show you guys this yet. Goides, um, his card came out today. It costs you about a hundred k because you need some informs. Uh, actually, let's check on Footbin. But I don't know if a ton of people are doing this. But the main draw, yeah, you see here, hundred and two thousand coins for the Guedes SBC, 108k, excuse me. Uh, but in return, people are gonna do this because you get a mega pack and you get a rare Electrum players pack. Now, if we get another SBC later this week um, with one of these cards out, yeah, you guys are thinking I'm stupid now because I didn't realize that this Goncalo Guedes was out in the store. So we do have one other SBC that we got today. I was wrong with that one. I totally forgot about Goncalo Guedes. So we had Delict and we have Guedes. So we have two more players that will come out. Um, probably gonna do one more Europa League, one more Champions League, based on what they did with this. Um, that makes me think we might not get one of those today again. Kind of changes my thinking a little bit and we probably will get that UCL Premium SBC. But again, if you're trying to make coins right now, trading and flipping is the way to go. I have flipped a lot of these Sun cards. I got a very nice Lazy today at 611K. A lot of these I haven't got a lot of profit on. I tried to make some some good money on Sun. It hasn't really worked too much. Uh, a couple of these I actually got, I got like four of them under 530K today. Um, and those are the ones that you see listed at like 550, 560. Sold one at 590. Uh, that was one of the ones that I bought at 550. So a little bit of profit on those. Willion was a decent flip as well. All of those are like the low 110, 112 range. Um, and it's just a good time to be flipping cards. You see that I have a good chunk of other ones listed up here. And then some Colossus Knacks as well on my transfer list. Just chilling there. But again, it's uh, Thursday flipping should be decent this week. Um, we'll talk about that tomorrow as we look into a few things more market related. Um, but still, the market is just kind of like at a point where people are really selling their cards to get their coins. Um, I was watching a stream today. Nick from Run the Foot Market was looking at cards that people had been listing up that were on the game. And I mean, some of these cards that people were selling, they were losing. Um, some, some people were losing millions of coins, 1 million coins plus on some of their icons that they have bought for their teams and then they were now selling. You're, there's a lot of that going on in the market right now. A lot of coins are being lost, but that also means that people have coins liquid in that top left-hand corner of their FIFA screens. And when they have coins up there, they are bound to do things with them, go buy and try players out, or go and do SBCs that are in the store. So that's why I like the high rated golds, stock in your club, getting a couple of those throw them in the club and uh you know possibly making some money off of those again the 85s and the 86s look the best to me don't pay anything over 19k for a lot of the the 85s or, or for the 86s um if they have good links but again try to stay lower in like the 18,000 coin range you can get them on bid as well um, especially if we get a good pack reward uh in the next day or so from an sbc that would come out in the store that would be a good time to look at some of those players sooner rather than later as people um, look to do icon SBCs when this promo, there's just not a lot going on with it. So um, along with that, if you're if you're grinding the league SBC method, um, you're probably, it's a decent time to do that, to be honest, because uh, there's a lot of special cards that are in the store. Obviously we have team in the group stage stuff or team in the knockout stage, um, but we also have man of the match cards with uh, Salah, Lacazette, Coutinho. Um, and of course, the entire team in the knockout stage uh, team that is in pack. So if you're grinding for that foot swap token, 
finished the grind, completed all the way through, should be by the end of this week, you should be able to have all 14 of your foot swap tokens and you'll be able to uh, redeem them for a base icon pack if that's what you're going for. I do not have near enough. I think I might have like seven or eight. Um, so I'm gonna end up settling probably for this Moynier card. If I get eight of them, I might go for the 100K pack, uh, but the Moynier card looks good. So I might just go with him, throw him in the club and uh, maybe try him out uh, in the future. Uh, but again, watch that uh, kind of method this week with the, the high rated golds possibly going up because of that base icon pack. The UCL rare cards could be a good investment again um, for today with the SBCs that could be coming out with the UCL premium upgrade and some of that stuff. So to keep your eyes out, keep your eyes open and aware and ready to go for some of that stuff. Um, it's not too late to stock your club with UCL rares. Make sure you're getting them at a good price though. Use Footbin um, if you're seeing this video a little bit later. Just go check those out until the SBC comes out. Uh, you should be good to go with those to, to stock your club. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, drop them down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.